Hello friends, welcome to Upadhyay Technology. Today we are going to discuss ASP.NET Core API interview questions. This is the seventh question in the series. And the question is, what is REST and SOAP? What is difference between them? Let us discuss. So, REST is representational state transfer and SOAP is simple object access protocol are both communication protocols used in web services but they have some key differences let us discuss what are those key differences first of all let us know what is rest so rest is an architectural style so it is we can easily understand that it is an architectural style that relies on a stateless communication between the client and server it treats each interaction as an independent request. Now, a RESTful web API or a REST web services uses standard HTTP methods which we have already discussed in our previous lectures that what are HTTP methods like GET, POST, PUT, DELETE for communication. A RESTful API uses lightweight data formats like JSON for exchange of data. We have JSON, XML and many formats through which we can make communication and JSON is one we are using mostly. Statelessness means REST is stateless meaning each request from a client contain all the information needed to understand and fulfill the request. The server doesn't store any client state between request means if there is a uh, let us see this is client this is server so when it sends a request and get a response nothing written here and nor here between a request and a response when it says sends a request and get a response it will get whole bunch of new information okay now let us understand what is SOAP SOAP is a protocol so protocol we already know that rule and regulation are called protocols so for developing SOAP we need to follow some rules and it is not an architectural style it provides a standard communication protocol over various networks and SOAP uses XML at its message format and can be transferred over a variety of protocols including HTTP, SMTP and moreover like TCP etc. SOAP message tend to be more heavyweight and can involve more overhead due to the XML format. We already know that JSON is much lighter as compared to XML. So if they are using XML, so if they are using XML, it is heavier as compared to REST. SOAP can be stateful or stateless depending upon the implementation. If we have criteria that we want to retain certain information in between a request and a response so we can develop our application in that way with the help of SOAP services and if we want statelessness that means uh, we don't want anything should be retained in between a request and a response so we can develop it in that sense so there is a feasibility now let us discuss the differences REST is often preferred for its simplicity and the use of standard HTTP methods Whereas SOAP being a protocol can be more complex and may require additional configuration. As you develop any uh, web API, you will come to know that how easy it is to use these HTTP verbs. But if you are using SOAP services, it is sometimes looks very much complex when we develop a big application. REST commonly uses lightweight JSON as we have already discussed. It uses JSON. But, but on the other hand, SOAP uses XML, which is heavier. REST is a stateless design. It, this the basis of REST uh, API or REST services is restlessness, means stateless. While SOAP is stateless or stateful, depending upon the how we are using, how we are developing. Now, REST is generally considered more flexible and scalable, suitable for a wide range of applications. Whereas, uh, SOAP is often used in enterprises level application where strict standards and secure protocols need to be implemented. So, this is the main differences between SOAP and REST. And they have their own uh, use cases.
so depending upon our use cases we can use either rest or soap now this is our team so lot of thanks to team for uh, keeping me alarm so i am making this video thanks yeah thank you